Defense should be Ukraine's largest industry in the coming decades. Kamishin began war as head Ukraine's state railway network and was praised for way his team led. Efforts to transport millions of refugees to western borders in early days war. Kamishin said the title was a misnomer. For now, there needs to be a single strategic industry in the country. Its job is to liaise with the army and defense ministry, as well as Ukraine's 70 state-run defense enterprises, to ensure the military gets what it needs. The generals complained that even with weapons deliveries from West, they faced a chronic shortage of the weapons and ammunition they would need to push Russians back. Further, now, in addition revitalizing state sector, Kamishin wants coordinate the countless small private businesses that have sprung up produce. Weapons for Ukrainian army, ranging from large corporations a few men doing repairs in a shed. There are currently more than 200 Ukrainian companies producing drones. And many more have promising ideas. Kamishin said. The volume of talent this year is three times higher than last year, he said. In 2021. 80 of sector was run by the state. Now ratio is around 5050. In five years, this ratio should be 8020 in favor of the private sector. In the long term, Ukrainian officials want to attract Western companies to produce within the country. Kamishin hopes that the arms production summit in Washington will help in this regard. The summit, organized by the U.S. National Security Council, will take place on December 6-7 will bring together senior Ukrainian officials companies with Western governments the world's leading arms manufacturers. Normally you have invest more than 10 billion do something with big arms companies. Then they can localize some of the production, said Kamishin, pointing Poland's recent investment purchase about 500 HIMARS missile launch systems from Lockheed. Martin. See the arms giant opening a production base in Poland. We take Soviet missiles and put them on Western launchers. These guys saw that we could be creative, he said. There is also an added incentive for weapons to be tested immediately. Our partners will obtain better quality weapons after they are tested not only in experimental conditions, but also in real combat conditions, said Mikhailo Podoliak one of Zelensky's aides, as long as war continues. All production that takes place in Ukraine will be for needs Ukrainian military. But Kamishin thinks that after war is over, Ukraine will be able to use its newly acquired technology for mass production and export weapons, depriving Russia many its traditional export markets. We can tell them we know how to move from Soviet standards to NATO standards. Come with us. We will share with you the information we have learned. And you will move to NATO standards, said Kamishin. In fact, he claimed that arms exports could be the country's calling card for decades to come. We were branding ourselves as bread.